neonatal resuscitation program 2016 american heart association and american academy of pediatrics recommendations once you are called upon by the obstetric team for resuscitating a baby who is about to be delivered then you have to do antenatal counseling of the parents or the attendants debrief your team regarding the history of the mother and the antenatal history of the baby and uh, the roles you have to you have assigned to them during the resuscitation process and do a thorough equipment check following the birth of baby you have to assess gestation of the baby his tone and breathing if the baby is term has normal tone and is breathing normally or is crying then you keep the baby mother side and give warmth position is airway clear secretions dry and stimulate if required however if the baby is preterm and or has decreased tone and or is breathing abnormally or is not crying then you shift the baby from the mother side to the warmer and again provide warmth positioning position his airway clear secretions dry and stimulate if required these five steps easily remembered by the mnemonic wpcds are referred to as initial steps of newborn care after initial steps of newborn care the baby may improve completely and in that case you have to just provide post resuscitation care and debrief your team again regarding any shortcomings which you might have been there during the resuscitation process however if the baby has not improved then there can be two scenarios again the baby is apneic or gasping or the heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute in that case you provide positive pressure ventilation via bag and mask attach an spo to monitor and consider placing an ecg monitor if the baby has labored breathing or a persistent cyanosis then you position the baby clear his airway position the head of the baby clear his airway attach the spo to monitor provide supplemental oxygen if the spo2 is not meeting the set criteria and consider placing the baby on the cpap or continuous positive airway pressure machine If you are providing positive pressure ventilation you must assess the heart rate after a minimum of 15 seconds and if the heart rate is not increasing and is still less than 100 beats per minute first you check whether or not the ventilation method method by which you are providing ventilation is correct or not so you have to take ventilation corrective steps remembered by the mnemonic Mr Sopa where M stands for mask adjustment R stands for repositioning the baby's head. S stands for suctioning the baby's mouth and nose. O stands for opening baby's mouth. P stands for increasing the pressure of the breath. A stands for alternative airway placement. The second assessment of the heart rate is done 30 seconds of of uh, after 30 seconds of effective PPV that is PPV PPV which inflates the lung. At this point of time if the heart rate is still less than 100 beats per minute you immediately look for the ventilation corrective steps and place an endotracheal tube or laryngeal mask airway both of which are advanced airway and administer ppv via it and not via mask if the heart rate however has improved to 100 beats per minute you just have to provide post resuscitation care and team debrief debriefing debrief your team if the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute that is it is still dipping you immediately intubate if you have not already done provide effective chest compressions and positive pressure breaths coordinated with these compressions provide 100% oxygen and attach an ecg monitor however if the heart rate is still less than 60 beats per minute despite effective chest compressions and coordinated positive pressure breaths and 100% oxygen you have to provide medication that is iv epinephrine and despite iv epinephrine inadequate dose and frequency the heart rate is still less than 60 beats per minute you just have to consider the different possibilities of hypovolemia pneumothorax 
rule out the same and or manage the same. So, summarizing the various case scenarios. First, if the baby is a term newborn with normal tone and good cry, you just have to, have to give initial steps of resuscitation or newborn care that is WPCDS mother side. However, if the baby is preterm and or has poor tone and or has weak cry or is breathing abnormally, you have to provide initial steps of newborn care but not mother side. If despite the initial steps, the heart, baby is apneic or gasping or his heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute, you have to give positive pressure ventilation, attach the SPO2 monitor and consider doing an ECG. The fourth scenario, if the baby has labored breathing and or persistent cyanosis, then you should position and clear the airway, attach the SPO to monitor, give supplemental oxygen and consider putting the child on CPAP machine. If the heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute after 15 seconds of positive pressure ventilation, you have to take the ventilation corrective steps that is Mr. Sopa. If the heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute after 30 seconds of effective PPV, that is PPV producing a good chest rise, then you have to correct ventilation and place an advanced airway which is a laryngeal mask airway or an endotracheal tube. If the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute despite positive pressure ventilation through an advanced airway, then you immediately begin with chest compressions which need to be coordinated with positive pressure breaths, increase the oxygen to 100% and consider doing an ECG. If still the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute despite effective chest compressions and PPV, then you administer IV epinephrine. If the heart rate continues to be less than 60 beats per minute despite effective positive pressure breaths, chest compressions and IV epinephrine, you should consider the possibilities of hypovolemia and pneumothorax and manage the same. Thank you friends. This is just an outline of the NRP guidelines. Once you finished watching, just like the video, share the video amongst your friends to spread the knowledge and subscribe the channel. Thank you.